That's better. <laughs> Sup guys, it's Nick and Ease again, and it is time for day eight of Inktober. So today's prompt is frail. I guess I could write it. Frail. Frail. <laughs> so my idea for today is gonna be another little ghosty. That seemed to be my most popular one anyway. So let's do another little ghosty, but this one hopefully was gonna be a cute little like bride ghost. We'll see. Okay, so she's gonna have a large flippin' head. <laughs> but more of a square. Okay, and let's see. Now just a little body. I mean, she's a ghost, so she has no body to help her. <laughs> that means her head needs to be a little cheap, just, just a smidge. Okay. Alrighty. And she has a veil. Something like that? Maybe. Maybe not that long. Uh, let's see. She of course has giant eyes. I think everything I've drawn has had giant eyes. Cute little mouth. A little bit of hair. A little bit more hair. Okay, so she might not be a ghost. Maybe she's a zombie? Corpse bride? Anybody? Okay. Uh, she does have a cute wedding dress on, so she has little arms. Alright. Her wedding dress is gonna come down like this. And then it's gonna actually come up. And over. Oh, and of course she's gonna have a, a little bouquet of flowers. All right, let's round, not round, square this out a little bit more. Um, that damn fly is still flying around. And that damn fly. All efforts to kill it has been met with naught. <laughs> okay. There's my little frail girl. She's gonna have ruffles, of course. Coming down. But yeah, for the most part, there she is. All right, let's color her in. All right, that's okay. That works. For now, anyway, let's smooth it out, of course. She's already pretty darn adorable, if I do say so myself, which I do. I feel kind of bad though, she's like a corpse. I don't really want to draw a corpse, but she's a corpse bride! The 
The reason I'm coloring this in, even though it's covered by the veil, is I'm planning on having the veil be a little semi-transparent, like a veil would. So, that's why. Alright, and actually on a layer under that, because I kind of forgot that, you know, there's going to be a backside to it, I need a darker color here. So around my veil, my grandma had put little designs the, the, around the veil that she had made me, so that's what these are supposed to be, it's just little little designs. <laughs> My cute little corpse! Good enough, it's supposed to be bustles, but meh, they were hard. Bustles were harder than I expected. Okay, my little, my little dead ghosty girl. Time for her flowers now. Her flowers are gonna be purple. All right, almost done. We got everything except the background. Now the background's gonna be kinda, oh no, she needs a shadow. I did forget the shadow. Perfect. There is Frail. She's kinda cute. She's adorable. She's sweet. My little ghosty girl. My poor thing. She had a uh, she had a little accident on her wedding day. And she will forever be frozen in time. She died of a sickness, you know. It was really quite sad. It was it was on her wedding day, and she died of a sickness. She knew about it, and they, the whole family knew that it was going to be happening. But it finally did happen right after they were able to say their vows. It's a very sad story. So that is my little ghost bride. <laughs> Which, if you've never seen that movie, you got to see the movie Ghost Bride, Corpse Bride. Corpse Bride is such a good movie, so if you want to see it, check it out. It really is quite neat. But that's what this kind of like reminded me of when I started drawing it. All right, so that is number eight. I am doing it. I am going strong. I'm going to do all 31 days. All right, so thank you guys so much for taking a look, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Bye!